What's up guys, it's Covert Code here and welcome back to episode 24 of our Zero to Hero series. In the last video, I showed you guys how to create and script animations inside of your game. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Region 3. Now, I'm just going to delete everything from last time. So this, delete the animation script. Okay, and now we have a clean slate to work on. Now, you might be wondering what a Region 3 actually is. And all that is, is essentially a, an area in 3D space. Now, let me just use a few parts to help you visualize this, okay? So, I'm going to insert a part. I'm going to set the size to uh, 111, anchor that. And I'm going to make this uh, nice and blue, okay? Just like this. And I'm going to duplicate this. And let's say I'll move this. Uh, like, you can ignore my plugin. You don't need this, okay? I'm just using this to help you guys visualize what Region 3 is. So you have two parts here, okay? And this is part one, and this is part two, okay? So blue part is part one, and red part is part two. I can use these two parts as coordinates to actually create a region, okay? And what that will do is, again, let me just use this again really quickly, make this a uh, yellow so it contrasts, okay? And essentially, using these two parts as coordinates, Okay, you can actually visualize or create a region just like this one. Okay, let me just resize this a bit and make this smaller. Okay, and make this slightly transparent, just like this. And what you've done here is you've taken part A, uh, part one's coordinate. Okay, which is essentially, let me just close this. Which is essentially, um, find it, this position right here. Okay, and that's this and. That's the start position, okay? So if I were to actually modify this region, just like this, that's the start position. That's the origin point for that region, okay? That uh, parts position, essentially. Okay, let me just undo that. And this red part is essentially the end destination for this region, okay? So I want this region, essentially, to span from this part's position to this part's position, okay? And as I said earlier, essentially, all a region is is in an area in 3D space. And to create one, all you have to give it are two coordinates, okay? In this case, part 1's position and part 2's position. And it just creates that region just like this, okay? Now, something like this would typically be used to check if something is inside of that region. Say, you have a game, okay? And if someone enters a specific area, you want to change the ambient, you want to change the music or something like that, you would use region trees. Or if a player enters a house, then you want to kill them, for example, you can also use region trees, okay? So let's just create a script, okay? And zoom in, just like this. And I'm just going to rename these parts, okay? So this is part one, okay? I'm just going to call this A, and this is B, okay? And I'm just going to call this region visualization, okay? And I'm just going to store these uh, parts inside of variables. So local A is equal to workspace.a, local B equals workspace.b, and local, uh, actually I don't need the other one, okay? So part A and part B are now inside of these variables. Now, if I actually want to create a region, okay? You would use local region, okay? So this is just a variable name. You can call this whatever you guys want. But local region is equal to region3, okay? Dot new. And as you guys can see, it's asking you for the minimum and maximum vector, the start point and the end point for your region3. So I'm just going to say a dot position, okay? And b dot position. So it's going to start at a and it's going to end at B, okay, and I'm just going to delete this region visualization part, okay, and now if I just print region.size, okay, just like this, it's going to tell you how big that region is, so I'm just going to run, okay, and view the output, it's going to tell you that it is 10 studs on the x-axis, 15 studs on the y-axis, and negative 10 studs on the z-axis, okay, now, notice that the coordinates can, can actually be, like, be negative, okay? Because what happens if you do this, okay? It's not taking the absolute value. This would be positive, and this would be negative, okay? The, the actual sizes and, you know, coordinates do not have to be positive, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're scripting. 
but essentially this just gave you the size of that region 3 now uh, if you want to actually just get the absolute value, remember that in the maths class video, I just told you guys to use math.abs, okay? So you could do just uh, do region size.x or y or z or whatever you're trying to use to get the absolute value, okay? But essentially, region.size will tell you the size on the x, y, and z axis. Now, if you want to just get the center point, okay, you could just use uh, .c frame. Just like this. This will give you the center point of that region. And essentially, it would be somewhere around here, okay? So if I click run, it's going to tell me the C frame of the center point. And that's just the C frame, okay? Now, if I want to actually prove this to you guys, all I'm going to do is copy A, okay? So local clone is equal to A clone, okay? And I'm just going to position the clone, clone.c frame is equal to region.c frame, okay? So essentially, I'm just giving this clone's c frame to the center point of the region. So this will essentially create a part and move it to the position, um, you know, the center position of the region. So uh, I'm just going to make this dot brick color is equal to brick color dot new, uh, new yellow, okay? And essentially, I'm just going to create a yellow part in the center of the region. So run, and as you guys can see, Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, I forgot to actually parent it to workspace. Um, so after all that, clone dot parent to the workspace. Okay, pretty important. So run. Wait for that to load up. And as you guys can see, there's now a part over here directly in the middle of the entire region. Okay, so remember the region is something like this. Okay, and this part is in the middle of that region. Okay, so let me just stop. And if you just want to be fancy, you could always just, you know, clone.size is region.size. I think this will actually show you the region, uh, except on this axis. Remember, that's that's negative, so you have to use math.abs. But if it were positive, this would actually just show you the entire size of the region, okay? So I could just do this, just to show you guys that use case of math.abs. So clone dot size yep my bad region replace this with vector 3 dot new okay math dot abs um region dot size dot x okay math dot abs region dot size dot y and math dot abs region dot size dot e okay just like this nothing special okay so essentially all i did is you know if i have vector 3 dot new uh 0, actually, 5, 10, minus 15, or something like this. I've just converted this to vector 3, dot new, 5, 10, 15, okay? You've removed any negations and just took the absolute value, okay? That's pretty much that. Run, and now it's just going to visualize that size of the region 3. Now, this is the actual size of the region 3. It's not a visualization, okay? But well, actually, it is a visualization, but it's a more accurate visualization from what I had earlier, okay? So that's the exact size of the region. Now, uh, let me just make this transparent, okay? So a clone.transparency is equal to 0 0.5, okay? Cool, now we actually know how big the region is because we can actually see it visually. So now I'm just going to make a very simple script, okay? Which will essentially tell me if I'm inside of that specific region. So I'm just going to use a while loop, so while wait do, okay? And this is one of the handiest uh, sort of functions you can use with region 3, okay? So uh, local, and this is just going to give us all of the parts inside of that region. So local parts is equal to um, workspace, so find, actually not find, colon find, okay? Parts in region 3, okay? Parts in region 3. Now you have three variants here, okay? So you have default one, you have the one with the ignore list, and the one with the, with the uh, white list. I'm just going to leave the uh, link to the wiki page about region 3s in the description below, and you can just find out what these mean. They're essentially very small variations of this, which I'm about to show you. And how this works essentially is you just need to give it the, uh, the region 3, okay, as the first parameter. So in our case, it's called region, okay? And the second parameter is essentially something you want to ignore, okay? So if you have um, something in this region, let's say we have this part, okay? And um, I'm just going to make this black 
anchored and just move it up a bit you can clearly see that it's in the region but what if i don't want to include it in my calculations or in like my script essentially you could always just use this now this just works for one instance so everything inside of that instance will be ignored when you know trying to find the parts in that region 3 so if i want to do workspace.part whenever this runs it will not print out the parts i'll actually show you this in a second but uh, the final parameter is essentially maximum amount of parts that you want to find. So if you put this at 100, okay, if it finds more than 100 parts inside of that region, it will only give you the first 100 parts that it finds. And if you just want to find two parts, it will only give you the first two parts which it finds it, um, in that region, okay? So I'm just going to loop through this using a pair of loops. Uh, a pairs loop okay so for i v in pairs parts uh do and print v okay just like this and this is just going to print out constantly every single part it finds uh my bad actually let me just print like this i'm just creating a line essentially and i'm just going to join the game okay and it's going to constantly print out whatever it finds inside of that region so let me just walk over to the to the uh, region and now that i enter the region um <laughs> my bad i need to make this can collide off okay because i can't actually enter that if it's can collide on so clone dot can collide is equal to false okay and essentially i just made a small change guys so um earlier this was negative okay so the z uh size was negative so i just moved this to this side so it's positive because earlier it was actually uh causing a problem where the the region 3 is so thin you can't really detect anything inside of that so whenever that happens just move the region 3 around with the start and ends the region 3 so let me just play and show you guys uh, what, what happened so it was making this sort of region 3 um and obviously it can't really detect anything inside of that so what i did is i just moved these okay and now it has a positive Z uh, size. And all I did here was, um, I just changed the size to region 3.size. I didn't have to use math.ab because um, all of the sizes were already positive, okay? So now if I click play, okay, it's going to constantly print out the parts inside of that region. And as you guys can see, um, B and A and A are inside of that region, okay? So this is A, this is B, and this is also called A. So these are the three parts in that region. And as soon as I step in, okay, all of my body parts are going to be printed out because they are inside that region. And when I leave, they will no longer be printed out, okay? Now notice what happens if I set this to nil, which essentially means nothing. It's no longer going to ignore that part uh, inside of that region it's actually going to also uh, realize it's there as you guys can see now there are four parts part b a a okay and that's essentially how re region trees work okay uh whenever something like what just happened to me happens just move around the region three because sometimes you know it just it's painful to actually understand uh what's happening without visualizing okay so that's why i always visualize the region 3 and when everything's working just fine then you can actually do your calculations okay so that's pretty much all i have guys for this video i would really appreciate if you just leave a like and subscribe because i have a ton of videos just like this one and if you have any suggestions about what videos i should make in the future be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below suggesting what video i should make next and i'll see you guys next time